Hey Bulls fans, Adam Harry back again with another Bulls unboxing and review. Today I have the uh, Gladiator Class Star Destroyer expansion pack for Star Wars Armada. As you can see here, still got the wrapping on there. Uh, again, Disney. That's funny that they started putting that on the box. Um, here's the back of the box as you can see. It's uh, one of the new ships for the, for the uh, Wave 1 expansion for Armada. Uh, so this ship is pretty cool. Um, already I'm excited about it. So let me go ahead and rip the plastic off and we'll jump on in. Okay, got rid of that nasty glare for us, so let's go ahead and take the ship out on that side and pop the ship off. Extras in the box. This is going to be all the cards, all the tokens, all that fun stuff. And there's the Star Destroyer box. This is a Gladiator ship, so it's one of the new ships that was designed uh, for Armada, so pretty cool. There's a little, I forgot to show this off here. Uh, for the last review, but this is a little component list and all the fun uh, contents <laughs> and like the credits. That's funny. Too bad it doesn't scroll, right? <laughs> uh, let's take a look at the uh, the ship first. We'll do the model. I know you guys like to see the model. So, put this stuff to the side and take a look at this bad boy. Let's zoom on in and there you go. Whoop. Slowly comes into focus. There we go. So, uh, pretty cool ship. Neat design. It's similar to the uh, uh, Star Destroyer, the regular ones, but this is uh, kind of a neat little thing on the front. So, I don't know. It's definitely not a vent. <laughs> I bet it's a. Uh, it's for the docking for the larger ships is what I would guess. So, um, yeah, check all that cool stuff out there. So there's the underside. It's all well painted. Uh, lots of little details, lots of attention detail. Uh, those are the guns. Um, I love the fact that the, uh, the the seams are all painted, stuff like that. There's the uh, the engine detail. Pretty cool. Um, I like the ship. It's pretty neat. It makes me want to play the Imperial. <laughs> so yeah, kudos to FFG. Good job on that one. There's another close-in shot. As you can see there, pretty cool. Zoom on back out. I'm. Uh, Tempting, well, real quick too. Here's the here's the stand. That's a smaller stand. I'm not gonna go into this stuff, but it looks like there's two order cups. So this is a looks like a two order ship. So you only have to plan two turns ahead. So it's a little bit more nimble than its bigger brothers, the uh, Star Destroyers. So I wonder how many cups like a Super Star Destroyer is gonna be. I think it's gonna be like eight cups <laughs> the whole game. Plan your turn. <laughs> That'd be fun. All right. So we've got the cards. We've got the little cards. And we've got these. Let me go through the dials real quick. Um, pretty straightforward. Couple maneuver dials and order dials and punch outs and all that fun stuff. There's the uh, uh, defense tokens, the the uh, squadron stuff like that. Imperial rebel tokens. Uh, so yeah, get a bunch of extra tokens. There's the movement thing, and we'll go. Looks like it's got some pretty pretty short range firepower black die. Uh, but lots of them, so that's kind of cool. This one is designed to get in and get close and punch you in the face. So we've got the two ships. I'll go over the cheaper one first. This is the 56-point ship. Um, this is the Gladiator 1 class Star Destroyer. Uh, it's got five hull, one uh, squadron defense die, or squadron attack die, however you want to call it. Uh, it's got two command, two squadron, and three engineering. It's pretty straightforward. There's the defense tokens and the maneuver dial. So two turns at range one, that's interesting. And then two at two and two at three, but obviously one and one at the far end is there. Uh, the tack die here, this guy's got a lot of uh, a lot of shots. Uh, three shields in the front, two on the two uh, the sides of the ship, and one shield in the rear, so heads up there, don't, don't get shot in the butt. Um, it's got two red and two black for the front. And then the two uh, port and starboard broadsides are four black dice, so lots of shots, uh, lots of short range shooting, uh, if I remember correctly. And you got a red and a black, so that's pretty pretty cool. And and then let's compare that to the Gladiator 2 um, ship here, as you can see. We get same hull, uh, one extra squadron die, so that's more shooting there. Uh, it has the exact same command and squadron values and engineering. So that's good to go there. Um, same defense stuff and maneuverability is the exact same. And then if you look at the shooting die, uh, the Gladiator 2 ship here has got some extra, let's see, 
some red dice, uh, same number of dice, but uh, it's slightly upgraded, and I think, <laughs> if my memory serves me correctly, I think that's longer range. Um, I could be wrong on that, but uh, yeah, well, I'm gonna go with that for now. So, um, but that's pretty cool. And then uh, let me pause real quick and we'll take a look at the, uh, the, the little cards. All right, first little card here is Admiral Screed. Uh, once per activation, when a friendly ship is attacking, it may spend one die to change a die to a face a crit icon. So free crits, that's pretty good. And criticals work different in Armada than X-Wing, so that makes the whole attack crit, so it's pretty good. Admiral Shirinu, I think I've seen him before. Can't remember where, maybe it was the, uh, uh, the Decimator, I think. I think, I'm not 100% on that one. But uh, the squadron ability here, squadrons that you activate can move even if they are engaged. When an engaged squadron moves in this way, treat it as having a printed speed of two. So basically your ships can get away. That's kind of cool and with the engage rule there. Weapons liaison, we've seen this card before. Uh, before you reveal a command, you may spend one command token to change that command to a crit or, a, or sorry, focus fire or a, a squadron command. So that's cool. Sensor team while attacking. You may exhaust this card to spend one die to change one of your dice to a face, uh, an icon with the targeting icon there. A nav team, uh, change your maneuver, to, a maneuver uh, command, change your maneuver token can either change your speed or increase your, increase one yaw value by one. So, some extra bonuses there. Uh, engine techs, this is the maneuver. After you execute a maneuver, you may exhaust this card to execute a one speed maneuver. That's pretty cool. Some extra movement, a little tricksy. Expanded launchers modification. The battery armament for your front hull zone is increased by two black dice. So extra damage, always a nice one. Black dice is the short range. I double checked. <laughs> Assault concussion missiles. Black on a crit. Each hull zone adjacent to the defending hull zone suffers one damage. Wow, some free damage, that's pretty cool. And these are the two uh, unique cards. First off, we'll go with the Demolisher here. Uh, this is the more expensive of the two. During your activation, you can perform one of your attacks after you execute a maneuver. So you get a, uh, a second shot, basically. Because in Armada, you shoot, move, shoot. And this one allows you to perform your attacks after you execute a maneuver so you can move, move and then shoot, which is kind of cool. Uh, the Insidious, Insidious, sorry, <laughs> Insidious, that's a word I made up. Uh, the black die in your battery armament can be used at medium range. This effect applies only while attacking the rear hull zone of a ship. That's kind of cool because as you saw, there are a lot of black dies on this ship. So um, that's it for the Gladiator class Star Destroyer. Uh, this looks like a nice addition to the Imperial Fleet. Uh, adds some much needed maneuverability and uh, firepower in the form of short range butt kicking. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to use this bad boy, uh, seeing it in action in Armada. So that's pretty much it for this review. Thanks for watching. Adam here for Bulls signing off. Have a good one.